Hello students, we have been talking about making healthy choices. So I just want to give you some examples of some healthy choices that I've seen students make. So I've seen students um, choose to eat cereal and some um, oatmeal for breakfast. <clears throat> I've seen students choose to play at recess and to play at lunch and be very active. I've also seen students after school choose to be active also and to make sure that they get some time to run around and to play and get off their computer and not in front of their television set. So all of those are really, really good choices. So what we need to start to do is to start to pay attention to unhealthy choices. So sometimes some of the choices that we make are not healthy choices. So let's take a look at some students. So kids, you can make choices all day long. So let's take a look at some choices that kids make. So if you had to make a choice, would you eat a stack of cookies or would you eat an apple? Of course, we would like to eat the cookies. The cookies are probably um, very, very, very tasty, but that's when the choices come in. Even though the cookies might taste better and the cookies are what we want, an apple has way more nutrition for our body and it makes it way a way healthier choice. So an apple is a really, really good choice for a snack instead of cookies. Like I said in the last slideshow, we should probably limit our sugar intake to... Um, once a day, if not once a week, and maybe even special occasions if you can. So this child, Nora, is watching a TV show on her tablet or a show on her tablet until late at night. It is 10.10. She should be in, in bed asleep. Like we talked about last time, kids need lots of sleep. It's really, really good. It's time for your body to heal and your brain to recharge. So staying up late and um, being on a device is not a good choice, especially since you're on um, your computer probably most of the day now. <clears throat> Christopher grabs a handful of candy for breakfast. I've seen this. I've also seen kids eat um, a bag of chips for breakfast. So especially to start your day, you need lots of fuel and you need lots of energy and you need lots of vitamins to get through your day. So a handful of candy is not a healthy choice. Jose and his brother watch TV until after school, until dinner time. So you've already been on the computer all day doing schoolwork and now you're going to be in front of the television set. So probably not the best decision. <clears throat> you probably need to at least play a fun game inside if you're not able to go outside or you can um, maybe find an active TV show where you're actually exercising or doing something instead of just sitting on the couch and watching TV. It's not good for your body, it's not good for your brain. So in each of those instances, each child didn't make the best choice. So how do you think their energy and mood influence their choices? So what happens when you eat candy for breakfast, you feel really, really, really good, for a little tiny bit, and then you start to feel really, really bad. It's called a sugar crash because the sugar doesn't sustain your energy very long. And sometimes it can even put you into a super bad mood. If you are um, staying up really late and you're not getting enough rest, that is not good for your body either. Your body needs a bunch of rest. And then um, the boys who were sitting on the couch watching TV, your body, you need to get up and you need to move. So instead of eating candy for breakfast, maybe you can eat oatmeal or you can eat dry cereal even. Like if you have just a chance to grab a handful of something and go, dry cereal might not be a bad choice if it doesn't have a bunch of sugar. And then um, instead of watching the TV show or the show, you can choose to put it off until tomorrow or the weekend but definitely don't stay up late. And then um, instead of sitting on the couch, like I said, you need to get up and move. That's always really good for your brain. So what recharge, mood, food, and move choices can you make to be fit? So 
this week you are going to, or today, I'm sorry, not this week, Thursday, you are going to do my choices. Your energy and motivation can influence your movement and food choices. So write or draw choices you will make to recharge your energy and motivate your mood. So you can either write sentences on this document or you can um, cut and paste pictures or you can draw a picture, however you choose to um, do that. So I'm just going to give you some examples again. These are the posters. <clears throat> so motivate your mood. So this person, um, the talking bubbles, the pen, they might write something down. They might talk with somebody. They might like to take pictures. They might like to sleep. There's some Z's there. They might like to read a book. They might like to daydream, sit outside, anything that gets you in a better mood. These are food choices. So these are more fruits and vegetables. So these are healthier foods. There's even a blender there. It looks like they're making a smoothie. And then there's a gas gauge next to the kiwis. So that means that when your body is given the right fuel, the right food, you are going to have more energy. And this is the middle of the poster and it puts them all together. So this is about exercising. So golf, fishing, riding your bike, kayaking, basketball. Um, this one's gardening. This one's tennis, playing the drums, dancing, all kinds of different things to get your body up and move. And then this one is about recharging. So getting enough sleep, maybe taking a nap in the middle of the day if you're super tired. Or um, making sure you go, you have a set bedtime, you go to bed. I remember <laughs> when I was little, our bedtime was eight o'clock. And in the summertime, in eight, eight o'clock, it was still light outside. And I used to tell my mom and dad, there's no way it's time for bed. It's still light outside. But I would wake up at, I mean, I would go to bed at 8, and then I would wake up around 6. So that was 10 hours of sleep. So that's a good amount. Remember, they said between 9 and 12. So if you have class or you have a Google Meet at 8 o'clock in the morning, you should be going to bed around eight or nine o'clock so you can get enough sleep and then you can wake up and have time to eat a healthy breakfast. So you are going to include these things on this sheet that your teacher is going to attach to the lesson.